Two months in counting in quarantine and needless to say, we were craving an adventure. We wanted to find a way to satisfy our wanderlust while social distancing. So we rented out a Jeep for the day and this is how it went. We are picking up our Jeep for the day on South Congress. So we're actually renting this car off of Turo. It's an app that I've known about for a while. I think my brother actually maybe used it in the past, but basically um, if you're under 25, it's just kind of a little bit more of a charge uh, for being like, I guess, underage technically. So it's like $25 extra a day since I'm only 22 years old to rent it. So we're gonna trade in my BMW for a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited today. So it's gonna be a little bit different than what I'm used to. We're gonna take this home and see if we can uh, take the doors off of it. They were gonna charge us like $150 just to take the top off. So we're gonna try to do it ourselves and see if it works out. Damn. It's gonna be nice. So we're gonna undo this latch. Undo this latch. And then this one's already undone. And you just take out this little screw. So that comes out. We are ready to take the Jeep out. We're gonna go to Westlake Hills first and then make our way to Lake Travis. Ryan and I's favorite thing to do is go on long drives while looking at beautiful homes and Westlake Hills has an abundance of stunning and unique houses. While we were in the area, we decided to drive under the Pennybacker Bridge. There is an amazing lookout on top of this limestone, which we didn't go up this day, but if you're ever in town, I highly recommend checking it out at sunset. So we got ice cream, a little midday snack, and now we are at Lake Travis. There's not really many like places to view it because um, this Tom Hughes Park is closed down because of the whole quarantine stuff. Um, but we're gonna try to fly the drone over the marina and hopefully get some really good footage. I saw the water, it's so blue. It looks beautiful like Italy water or something. So I'm really excited to fly the drone and see what it looks like. And I'll be testing out a new setting. I think I wanna try like D-Log. It's basically where you film in like raw footage so that you can go back in and color grade it the way you want. So we're gonna try that out today and Let's see how it goes. Like I said, a lot of the parks are closed around this area, but we found one and it's open. This is called Jessica Hollis Park, so we're gonna enjoy it and wait for the sunset. We've been driving around this Lake Travis area, but we just arrived at the infamous Oasis. This has like the most pretty view. I heard the food wasn't that great, but the view is amazing, so let's go check it out.
We were on our way back to the marina. Um, we went there earlier today um, because I want to see the sunset and fly my drone there. I didn't know where to really fly my drone off the oasis, like, because there's like all these balconies and you kind of have to like make sure the overhead is all good to go. So um, I thought we should just come back to the marina and do some drone stuff um, and spend the last battery we have. We actually just quickly stopped right over here. Um, we pulled over because I saw that the sun was shining through beautifully through the trees. So I wanted to get a few B-roll shots. Adventure day is ending. It is 7.30 and we are just kind of waiting for the sun to go down a tiny bit more to fly the last of the drone battery. It is literally on 36%. I, I'm pretty sure I charged both of the batteries like a while ago. So maybe they just were like sitting there and lost battery charge, which sucks, but I should have known. And now I definitely learned my lesson, charge them the night before, even if you think you charge them. Um, but this was really fun. Like, I'm glad we did it. I feel like a Jeep is like very scary if you're not used to it though, because I, I literally was like so tense. Like I was trying to hold my phone, like my camera and like just my shoes. Like I literally thought my shoes were going to fall off. Mostly because the doors are off though. Not, yeah. If it was just the top, it wouldn't be like. For sure. Yeah. But I still don't really like the feeling of like the wind. I mean, obviously I'm a girl like I have hair, you know, it was like getting all up in my face. I don't think I would like prefer this for an everyday thing, but it was so fun like today. And I'm glad we did it because I feel like we've been saying we were going to do it for so long. Yeah. So I'm glad we did it. Me too. Maybe next time we'll get like a convertible instead of like no doors. Yeah, that'd be cool. We were going to get a convertible. It's just the same price. I've been wanting to do a Jeep for a long time. Yeah, I feel like a Jeep is cool. I charged my GoPro last night for no reason. I don't know what we were even going to use it for. Oops. <laughs> I told him to like find it because we didn't even know where it was. And I thought we were just, I thought we were going to use it, but we ended up not. If you guys were wondering, I filmed this whole vlog on my Sony a7 III with the 24 millimeter 1.4 G Master lens. And the drone footage is shot on the Mavic 2 Pro. I wanted to take like a convertible or something just nice out to enjoy the weather since everything's still closed right now. So we went on Turo. I found a Jeep that is $56 a day, a Jeep Wrangler. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I'm hoping we can take the top and the doors off um, and drive it around. We have 200 miles and only $56 a day, but since I'm not 25, it's extra $25 and then $15 on top of that, so it makes it $96 for a day. What do you think? Should we do it? Let's do it. Yeah. 